expect you. Well, uh, do I need an engraved invitation or something? No, but I kind of thought you'd stick close to home in case Mr. McCord phoned. Uh, well, I don't have to wait anymore. Oh? We got a telegram saying that he was coming home tonight. Oh, I'm hungry. Oh, well, there's some leftover uh, stew in the pot yeah, over there. From dinner. Oh, let, let, let me go. Yeah, I'll, I'll get, get it, Mom. It's all right. I'll get it. All right, all right. Give me a chance. Hey, I know you very well, and you're not acting like yourself. Can you tell me what's wrong? I don't know. I guess <clears throat> I just feel a little unsettled, that's so. all. Because Mr. McCord is coming back? Well, no, it's not that. I want to see him. It's just... I don't know. It has to do with this Rebecca Cartwright. She hasn't talked yet, huh? No, and I, I just had it with her, that's all. Well, what do you mean, honey? Well, with her not talking, when she can talk, I mean, and... I told her about it. <gasps> what did she say? She didn't say anything. She kept writing on that sheet, that paper. That I, I don't know what you're talking about. And then I told her that... that I know about this commitment that Quentin feels to her to see that she's fully recovered. And once that commitment is fulfilled and she's well again, she'll be out of our lives for, forever, and Quentin, I can start our future together. No, well, you told her that? Yes. <gasps> oh, honey, you think that was a good idea? Well, yeah, I didn't want her to think that she was getting away with anything. Oh, yeah, but I mean, if your suspicions about that woman are right, maybe you shouldn't have tipped your hand like that and confronted her, honey. Well, uh, I, I'm just afraid that she's going to hurt him in some way. You know, I, I don't know how or, or why or anything, but I just, I didn't want her to think that she could get away with hurting him. And I said that I was going to watch her 24 hours a day. You really care about that man, don't you, dear? Yeah, I do. You know, honey, all I want is for you to be happy. And? Nola, are you sure you know what you're getting into? Oh, I don't know. The only thing that I do know, Mom, is that... is that I love him. I love him more than I ever thought I could love anybody. Are you sure that the kind of lifestyle he can offer you doesn't enter into it just a little bit? No. I mean, of course it does. I mean, you know... But there's just... I don't know, there's something different about him. It's hard to explain. It's... It's a feeling that I get. When we're together, I, I just... I don't know, in my heart, I just feel that it's right. Do you understand that? Yeah. I felt that way about your father right up to the day he walked out on me. I guess maybe that's why I never remarried, Nola. I don't know. Maybe we only get one person in our lifetime that can make us feel like that. Well, see, that's what I'm talking about. That's what Quint does to me. But honey, there's so much you don't know about the man, and I know it bothers you. I know. I, I, I was afraid of those things. You know, what he was doing. But I know that what he is doing is for us. Well, uh, like the other day, when... When he went to meet Silas Crocker, and he could have been killed, Mom. He could have been killed, but he went to meet him to get Silas Crocker out of our lives. And did he? I think so. Quint thinks so. Helen is gone. She's gone? Yeah, I, I don't know where, but she's gone, and now we'll get rid of Rebecca, and we'll be all set. Oh, you really think you get rid of Rebecca? I think so. He, he promised me, and I, I believe him. All right, so after, after she's gone, then what other obstacle is going to be in your way? Well, why would there be anything else? Oh, honey, let's face it, there's always been something. Uh, uh, first it was the quest, and then it was silence. Mom, it's going to be wonderful. Helena. It really is. I just hope you're right, darling. Nola, I don't want you to set yourself up for another heartbreak. Mom, will you just stop it? There's not going to be any heartbreak. We love each other. That's all that matters. I know. I know. I know how you feel, honey. I know how frightening it is to think about committing yourself to one person. That's why I'm asking you all these questions. Oh, I like Mr. McCord. I like him. I, I think he's, he's basically a very good man. But he is very mysterious, dear, and there are a lot of things you don't understand about him. You know, Mama, I was, 
I was talking to Mrs. Renfield about that. She, she said to me, do you have to understand him to love him? Well, I said no. That just, that just loving him was enough. Uh, where do you want them? Oh, uh, I don't know. Just put them anywhere. <laughs> you were such an angel to come out to the airport, Trish, and meet me. I, I really do thank you. You're quite welcome. I was glad to. What's that package you got? Oh, oh, these are just some papers I had sent over from Europe. I really didn't expect them to have arrived, but here they are. Whew, I'm exhausted. Fix me a drink, would you, darling? Strong. Scotch will be fine. Sure. I'd uh, tell you to make one yourself, but... That's all right. Commercial is so tedious. Oh, Vanessa, I'm so, oh, I'm so I just I didn't even look at the time. Listen, I uh, I know this is your homecoming, but I've got to get back to the towers and talk to Josh about uh, any further developments in the Lewis Oil deal. I'm really sorry. No, that's all right. It's all right. Vanessa, are you all right? What? I said, are you all right? Oh, I'm fine. I, I'm just exhausted. That's all from the trip. I... Did you say something about a deal with Lewis Oil? Yes, I did. I guess you don't know. Uh, it looks like Amanda's bought out Lewis Oil and we're not going to go bankrupt. Isn't that great? Yes. Oh, my, my. A lot seems to have happened in my absence. Very happy for you, darling. Thank you. Thank you. Listen, I'll talk to you soon. You take care. Yes. Okay? Rest. Thanks again. Bye-bye. Quentin R. McCord. Oh, you're home. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Hi. Rebecca can talk. 